Welcome to Apprentice Nation. I'm Suprina and I want to begin this quick set with a fact. Did you know that 85% of job opportunities come from the people you know? This is why it is so beneficial to form great relationships. They may be formal, informal, professional, or even personal relationships. I'm going to discuss how to build a healthy relationship, but also how to detect an unhealthy relationship and what you should do. So what makes a healthy relationship? I wanted to share with you the six qualities that build a healthy relationship. One is trust. Two is accountability. Three is support. Four is respect. The fifth one is cooperation. And the sixth one is honesty. A simple but effective task for you to complete is research and reflect on each quality and rank out of 10 how important each one is to you personally. I'm gonna share with you my top three and give you examples of how you can act on them. So the first one, accountability, that's by having open and honest conversations, admit your mistakes without ego and be self-aware. My second favorite one is support. Be empathetic and understanding and be proactive. For example, help someone without them even asking you. And my third favorite is respect. Respecting people's boundaries and their opinions. Not everyone is gonna have the same view as you and that's okay. Also be sure to listen to people and be inclusive. These attributes are not only essential in building positive work relationships, but this can also apply to the different relationships in your life, whether that be with a partner, a family member, or a friend. I got to meet with the duo Young T and Bugsy, and we discussed the dynamics of their healthy relationship. Hey, how's it going? Hey, we're good, we're good. Welcome to Apprentice Nation. So you two have been friends for a very long time, since you were 15, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So my question to you is, because you've grown up together and you're essentially grown up in the industry together and a musical duo and business partners. So how do you maintain a positive bond and keep it solid? And I would say uh, honesty and understanding that's yeah, what i would yeah, say yeah, yeah, i think yeah, yeah, yeah. i think i think that honesty goes a long way in it i think yeah. if you just i think you just tell the truth and tell the reasons why you know what i mean and hopefully the receiving end is able to understand that in it yeah. i think that that yeah. builds a lot. 100%. Yeah, definitely. And you've actually mentioned in an interview once that you're quite similar, but you also have differences. So do you feel like it's about accepting each other's differences yeah, as well? Yes, 100%, yeah. 100%, 100%. Like, we're very similar, but we're very different. The differences, but it's like accepting for how he is and what he likes to do and what he prefers and his preferences, and he's the same with me. And so I feel like that's very important like in any healthy relationship. I'd say, i say respect. I say I value respect because I think some of them things follow respect anyway, innit? I think if there's a respect there, there's a line of there's a line of honesty there and there's a line of yeah, probably respect yeah, still, yeah. You know I mean, respect's yeah. the biggest one still. And I feel like you both respect each other, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much for speaking thank to me you, today. Thank you, thank you for having us, thank you. I also got to check in with Isla from the charity Mind and we focused on what to do if you're in a relationship that is not going so well. So throughout your lives, there are going to be many, many relationships, both professionally, personally, romantically. You know, there are going to be people who you think you might know and meet with, but throughout your lives, you might recognize actually you're on different wavelengths, you're on different paths and you might go different ways and that's okay. However, throughout that time as well, if there, there is a time where you feel like you're manipulated in any way or somebody's trying to influence you or you feel like um, you're drawing a line and somebody's not respecting the, the line that you're drawing, then please, please, please try to speak to a trusted professional. Relationships and the rela relationships built with people throughout their lives are so important and they really uh, contribute to their self-esteem and the way they might feel about themselves. I think some of the biggest red flags in some toxic relationships and unhealthy relationships is the first one being jealousy. Um, so young people not being able to see their friends, their families, being able to express themselves because a certain uh, person might make them feel like what they're doing is wrong. A really big area here is coercive control feeling like, you know, um, 
they they need to respond in a certain way not to upset the other person uh there's um also um them not feeling like they can truly be themselves or not being able to communicate through how they're feeling um I think uh, a really big aspect here that should be talked about and it might be uncomfortable is abuse. So I think it's very, very important if you are feeling unsafe, if you're feeling like there's anything um, that isn't right and your gut feeling is there, or if you're hurt emotionally, physically, you know, sexually, please, please, please reach out and speak to a professional, speak to an adult at school, speak to a doctor, speak to anybody because It, it's okay. You're going to get through this and you just need the support of others from the side. So we have covered a lot in such a short space of time. I will leave you with some food for thought. Be somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. Thank you for watching.